to be honored amongst such brilliant artists and kind people is just a highlight of my career so far and I'm excited to celebrate them all. And also it's fun to like fan out over people. Hi, I'm Jasmine Savoy Brown and I'm getting ready for Elle's Hollywood Rising event. Let's do it. The event is just down the street here in Santa Monica at a hotel tonight, and I'm excited to get ready and see what look we come up with. What am I most excited about? I'm most excited to see Tyler James Williams. When I met him at the photo shoot preceding this event a couple months ago, he left his phone unattended in the dressing room, so of course I stole it and took unflattering selfies of myself that he didn't see for a while. And when he did, he messaged me on Instagram and it was funny. And so I'm looking forward to um, stealing his phone again and taking more pictures. How it feels to be an honoree. I mean, I'm honored <laughs> to say the least. This is crazy. The people that I'm being honored amongst are like people I really look up to and people that I admire, people whose work I admire and also just kind people in general. For example, last night, um, oh, I think my iced coffee is here. That is important. <laughs> Don't mind me getting the most relaxing face massage ever. Just kidding. Feels so good. <laughs> this is an incredible group of people that I'm being honored amongst. I got to have dinner last night with Storm Reed and her mom, and Storm and I are in a movie together, but we haven't actually interacted yet. And so it was fun to talk about the movie, but also just to get to know her, to be honored amongst such brilliant artists and kind people is just a highlight of my career so far and I'm excited to celebrate them all. And also it's fun to like fan out over people. I am not shy. I have no problem being like, I really like your work, be my friend. So I'm gonna do a lot of that tonight. A lot of this industry has always felt a bit like a game to me. You really gotta fake it till you make it. And so I've always been pretending to be really confident. So I'm really good at that. <laughs> I guess what's changed really is that I'm almost 30. So I give less shits and I have more friends now when I go to these events because I've been doing this for a while. So can I cuss in this video? My favorite thing about LA. Oh, a few things come to mind. Mexican food. We have delicious Mexican food. It's very different than Tex-Mex because Texas also has delicious Mexican food, but it's like two very different takes. And then music, the sun. I love a lot about LA, but I love it so much that um, I don't live here anymore. <laughs> I needed to get, I needed a change of pace. I live wherever the work takes me. Tonight, I am wearing Ralph Lauren. I am wearing this beautiful chocolate ensemble. I'm very into playing with gender presentation in my clothes these days. I'm often either like super femme wearing a dress or leaning way more mask wearing a suit. Recently I'm trying to kind of do like a combo of those, be a little bit more androgynous. It is a more feminine than masculine look, but I've been showing a lot of skin recently and having some like free the nip moments. And so this is very much the opposite of that. It's buttoned up. It's long sleeves up to the neck, all the way down to the toes, still sexy. And I thought it would be fun to just kind of flip the script in that way. I'm usually pretty quick when it comes to choosing a look for an event. My amazing stylist, Amanda Lim, and her amazing team, including Ian Martin. He's been around a lot these days. Amanda and Ian will come to me with a rack full of incredible, incredible options. So often I put on something and I go, that's the one. And Amanda's like, girl, no, you have to try on more. I'm like, ugh. And then I try on the second one. I'm like, that's also amazing. And by the time we get to the fifth one, I'm annoyed because she's so good that she pulled me five amazing options. Now I have to make a choice. We're doing a bit more of a neutral eye. We really want to let the hair and the wardrobe speak for itself. We want it to be romantic for the hair. I have braids right now, as you can see, and she's incredible. Often with my hair and makeup team, I don't even want to be involved. I think you're an artist and we're collaborating for a reason. Why would I want to stifle your creative vision? So I'll just kind of be like, what do you think? And she'll say, I was thinking, and I'm like, great, do it then. <laughs> I just, I trust you, I trust you, I trust whoever I'm working with. I didn't study makeup, I don't know the science of it. I don't know, I don't even know how she's doing what she's doing. <laughs> so why would I tell her how to do it? 
my must-haves for getting ready. Good music, <laughs> a snack, which today is fries. I need to take a bite, in fact. Just kidding. <laughs> Food, music, water, good company. Those are my must-haves for getting ready. Who's calling me? Oh, it's my manager. Should I put her on the speaker? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I should answer this really quick though. I am a comfort bitch. I always want to be comfortable. One of the first things I ask Amanda is, am I going to be cold? Is there a jacket? She's always like, it's about the look. No, she supports me being comfortable, but in day-to-day -day life, as you can see, it's comfort for me. I have had to be trained by a few different people in my life to not prioritize comfort. And so now I try to find about a 50-50 in uh, the comfort and the look department. I think all black actors have this story where you show up to work, you were promised one thing or you weren't. Um, you arrive, the person who is doing your hair doesn't know how to do it. It's a really terrible feeling because you question your worth and you look around the hair trailer at your white counterparts and think, they get to start their day feeling confident and comfortable and supported, and I'm starting my day feeling not respected and not cared for. And so sometimes when I've been in that situation, I just go into my trailer, I fix it myself, but I'm not a hairstylist. So other times I've called a hairstylist friend, but fortunately I'm getting to a place in my career where that's happening less, and I have an incredible team of agents and managers and lawyers and people who have my back. And I hope that even just like talking about it more in interviews like this, whenever I can, will help change the system. Okay, glam is done. Time to go put on my outfit. <laughs> Thank you so much for getting ready with me. I'll see you at the event. It's time for me to go, but if you don't mind cleaning up, yeah, I'd really